Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we've got uh, Shocker and Hella in the arena. We're gonna take a look at the leaderboards. I am not a fan of Shocker's name, and some of you know what I'm talking about. And if you do know what I'm talking about, get your mind out the gutter. Anyway, let me get my mind out the gutter. Uh, let's take a look at the leaderboards here. Now, in this particular arena, it's really, really important if you have any scores or rankings, leave it in the comments because they reduce the stamina costs and we don't know yet how that's gonna affect the arena scores. And I do wanna go for this guy as a five star, but I don't know. This is the first arena after that. Will, will that mean that people are gonna grind even more, put up higher scores or will they, just enjoy the fact that they can put up the same scores with less effort or or faster i should say uh we'll see anyway um i got the 11 to 30 percent there and i got the six to ten percent because the um uh what was it i think it was the arena wins event had just started when i was pretty much done and you get a lot more points for using your six stars and defeating your six stars. Also, there's something else I, I needed to tell you guys, and I was very surprised. Take a look at this. Hero use. Points, all right? You can win an arena fight, okay? Win a duel. Win a fight in event quest or story quest. Event or story quest. Okay. Defeat a one star, two star, what have you. Do you know what's not here? See, I used to just use my six star champions and go through uh, one of the special quests, like a, a, a Road to the Labyrinth. And I noticed when I was doing that before, I wasn't getting any points. And I was like, whoa, 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 what's going on? And I came and I looked here. It's not the same as the combat anymore. So now, in order, and, and I think what they did, they compensated it because you get, look at the, the event quest or story quest. You get a lot of points for that. So they may have compensated. Um, they removed the, you know, um, win a fight with a six star, five star, all that good stuff um, and replaced it with this. And that's actually kind of nice because that means that I can just go through the event quest instead of me having to go, oh, no, I need to go through Labyrinth of Legends if I want to get the, you know, combat or the uh, the combat one still does it. Um, but for the hero use, now I can just auto fight in uh, the event quest because it doesn't matter which event quest. It's just what champion you're using. So I will go in with my six stars and go through the lowest difficulties and just auto fight through them, which I do anyway. Uh, so just a, a PSA something. Um, I'll probably mention it also in the uh, live stream uh, that I'll do tomorrow. All right, let's get back to it and let's take a look at the uh, leaderboards here. We'll start with Hella, uh, who was the uh, basic champion. And I know for a fact that some of my alliance mates were going for her. They, they were asking questions and advice on scores, which of course, we're not sure because this is the first arena since they made the change to the stamina. So, uh, oof. no telling, no telling at all. So I'm very curious, anybody that got the champion or missed the champion, leave a comment what your score was, what your ranking was. Be very, very curious. And it'll be very helpful to everybody. Right, Gabriel. I don't know if you're the Gabriel that comes by my channel. Uh, if if you are, congratulations. 
If you're not, congratulations still. <laughs> uh, let's see. Shrek. Interesting spelling. Uh, infinite loop. Oh, wow. So that brings back some memories. Um, I'll tell you that in a minute, what that brought back. Uh, so I cannot pronounce that name. I can't read it. Um, but let's see who is Mr. Oh, I keep saying that. Let's see who is Summoner 101. I can't read that one either. Uh, I'm trying to be sensitive. And so I'm trying to remember to just say summoner. It could be male, female, however you identify. It covers everybody. <laughs> really? 114, really? Uh, but anyway, uh, Infinite Loop. I am a, a programmer by profession, although I haven't done any programming in, in a, a long while now. And... One of the things that kind of characterized my programs, uh, and it was a style thing which not everybody liked. They did not like it. What I would do is I would create an infinite loop. And then inside the loop, I would create the terminating conditions. And the reason people didn't like it is because if something happened later uh, and, and your terminating condition messed up or something, you know, um, someone changed your program later on and your terminating condition was no longer valid, then you'd suddenly get an infinite loop. Um, so it wasn't really a safe thing to do. But it was something I always loved to do, and I never had a problem with it, personally. But when you get into the field, your programs may linger long after you're gone. And someone else may be in there messing around. Not only that, but you yourself will be working on other people's programs. And having that in there can be uh, dangerous if the person is, is not careful uh, who comes after you. Um, I tried to leave comments and everything, but anytime someone uh, in school, if they tried to copy off of my homework, the teachers knew exactly who they copied from because I was really the only one that would do that. That was like my signature um, style. I would put an infinite loop in there and then terminate it, you know, like a, I'll just have like a while one, you know, one is always true or while true later on. And then inside the loop, if whatever, whatever, exit, if whatever, whatever, exit, you know, that that's kind of what I would do. And uh, yeah, uh, it also reminds me of the name of a. Um, a forum. Uh, a young lady created a forum called Infinite Loop. I think it was Infinite Loops. And uh, I was a, a moderator on there. And uh, we had some wonderful discussions. Great discussions, man. But anyway, here we go. You can see the score that I put up. I put up more than I normally would have. Quite a bit, but it was easy. Um, because of the uh, uh, stamina, it was not a problem at all. Call T. Congratulations on that new shocker. Let's see who else we got here. Actually, you know what? Okay, okay. There we go. I was I was looking for the names because I thought. They had gone for uh, Hella, but I see now they weren't. They were going for Shocker, apparently. Um, but I see Surfer from my old alliance. But Marine Recon, congratulations. He is my alliance mate, and I believe he was the one that was asking the question, too. 
but yeah, I, I guess uh, I was tired when I was reading um, the line message. So yeah, he was probably talking about this one. But I could have sworn it was. Uh, I might. I might have to go back over the um, uh, the basic and see if somebody from my alliance that I might not know their uh, in game name. Hmm. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, congratulations, man. So that could be. So I'd have to look at the. Um, uh, alliance that they were in. All right. And Scooby, Scooby Doo, where are you? You are the last one to get this shocker. I will be looking for cutoff information all over the place. If I can find some and nobody has uh, left a comment, I will pin a comment on this video if I find it and nobody else has said anything. All right. Let's see who is Summoner. 101. Aries, no! I hate to see it, man. So close and yet so far. I see folks from uh, sister alliances of my old alliance. Time to shine. Ooh, you got close. I'm very curious at the scores for this arena. Very, very curious. I, I'm, I'm wanting to get him as a five-star. Uh, I don't know when I'll go for a six star again, but um, I just, I don't know. But the five stars I like to get for collecting purposes and all that good stuff. And when I take them all the way up, which I still do, uh, they just help me out in the arena even more. But now with the stamina change, I don't have to ever use any rank for five stars if I don't want to. Man, it is so nice. Anyway, um, I think I was told that's Matthew, uh, 136. Congratulations on that five star. I hope that's what you wanted, because that's what you got. Trash Panda, would y'all leave Rocket alone? I tell you, he ain't do nothing to you. House of Pain. Jump around, jump up, jump up, and get down. I see you, Grimlock. Sha, sha, boom. And Lord Warrior. Wanja, a name I, I see so often. I hope hope you enjoy that five star. Down here, I'm pretty sure people were. Oh, I, I, I shouldn't be because I, I don't know what the cutoffs are now. All right. Uh, let me do a quick look through here. Okay, BT is not us. Although, okay, there we go. Yankee for life. Congratulations. See, I would have missed it. Um, I don't think, is his name? I don't think that's his name on online. But congratulations, man. Got your uh, uh, hella. So I did see it. Um, somebody asking about that for the basic arena. And it was probably him. Or her. I'm actually not sure. All right. Just going down, going down, just for the top 100s. Uh, because I believe that was the only one. Uh, okay. All right, guys. That is going to do it. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Again, leave a comment. Let me know what score you put up, what rank you got. We're trying to figure out how the uh, stamina change affects the cutoffs. All right, whether they do or not, we'll see. Anyway, take care, and you all have a blessed day.